The next thing I'd like to talk to you about, ladies, is what we call the three planes of movement. Now, we have just discussed the ranges of motion that are happening through the base area, which then coordinates up to the upper body. But I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a, a wider range and something a little bit um, even simpler to think of. It's what we call the three planes of movement. And the first plane that I'm going to discuss is the spine. What's very, very important in dance is when we're moving, this frontal plane of movement is always working. So when I'm moving forward or when I'm moving backward, my spine is very, very strong. We are got to be very very careful that when we move forward can you see how I'm starting to tilt back it's got it's very very important that the forward plane of movement which is the spine is always in motion whether it's forwards or backwards all right so this is plane number one and I'm going to make you exercise all three in a second so the frontal plane of movement is the spine the second plane of movement I'd like to discuss is the rotary factor, and it's the side. So I'd like you to sort of keep your head central and just allow the arms to rotate and feel the freedom through the sides of your body. This is the rotation, um, the second plane of movement that we call rotation. So we've talked about the spine and now we're talking about the side. So this is very, very important. And ladies, quite often, sometimes we feel like we can turn one way quite strongly, but the opposite way sometimes is quite stiff. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm warming up on a morning to practice is, as I'm uh, rotating, if you release the left heel, then you release the right. And kind of keep your head central and really just warm that back up and feel turn very, very strongly. Then you can start to really relax the knees and let your back go so you can feel that strong turn and use of the sides. Yeah, let's try that again. So we'll start off quite high. We'll get the lats nice and warm. We'll feel the turn through the back. Then we'll get down into the knees and really feel that back going. Then if you want to try and go for even more flexibility, you can let your arms swing. So this is the rotation. Okay, so we have the forward plane of movement, which is the spine, and the rotary, rotary plane of movement, which is, is the sides of the body. The third plane of movement I'd like to discuss with you is the sway plane, and that involves the hips. Now, this is probably one of the actions that's uh, very, very um, misunderstood because when we try and apply a lot of shape to our dancing, quite often it happens in a very, very broken fashion. So the sway plane is when we are activating our hips off the standing leg to an up from an upswing. So from here, if I use my standing leg and I allow my leg out ahead of my body, you can see that as I swing my hip, you can still hopefully see a very, very strong line. So our spine does not have to be exactly straight like this when we uh, swing and sway. It's very, very important that we can dance our blocks of weight through what we call curve blocks. So if I dance my right leg out ahead of my body, you can still see a straight line through my hip and through my head. What we don't want to see is when we drop a side down. So my favorite exercise for this particular action is if I stand sideways to the camera and I raise my right hand sort of just in line with my belly button and I raise my left arm above my head so you can see it's kind of like a, a ballet position and simply just allow the two points to pull while our feet are even stationary. And you can feel the actual sway happening within our body. Can you see that? So you can actually see the activity happening within our body. And if you notice, when I'm pulling, the reason why I really love this exercise is you don't see this arm pull out and this one not move. There are 
they're together. There is a 50-50 pull. Whatever is happening left is happening right. You can see I'm not over-exaggerating and taking it from the ribs. So from here, when I exercise this action, it's an even action. So ladies, just allow this right leg to swing in front of the body, take it out to the side and pull that left arm and pull and pull and pull. I'll do it back in the camera. Pull, 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 pull. And you can then, once you've exercised and you feel comfortable with the equal stretch, you can then practice bringing your feet together. Practice bringing the feet together. And a, a nice thing that I like to do here at this stage is then kind of think about my setup. So I go swing, set up swing set up I can actually do my dance posture from that stage so that is the uh, swing action showing that the rib cage is not breaking so one of the things that's very very important ladies about swing through the body is you want to feel like you get your rib cage to that standing leg so you're getting your rib cage across the standing leg and you're not shaping off that foot okay again so we're getting the rib cage to that foot and both sides of the body are very long they are not if you take a ruler and you put it on the side it's still the same uh, length on both sides we want to make sure there is no breaking at all through the rib cage so what I'd like you to do now is try and let's go the other way and again, like I said in the exercise earlier, you'll always find one side that's a little bit stronger than the other. So again, if you just point your left foot across your uh, right foot and take the left arm out and we simply swing, swing, swing. And you can see the sway within the body. Swing, swing, swing 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 you can see that position that it would be my dance position through swing and sway all right so very very important let's try that again ladies left foot across we go swing 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 and there's our sway with our body yes so Remember what we said at the beginning of this uh, uh, paragraph. We talked about the three planes of movement. We have our forward plane. We have our rotary plane. And we have our sway plane, which happens after, after we have released a swing. So what we are trying to do, our ultimate goal while we dance, is have three planes of movement even, evenly balanced. We never want to try and just go straight forward without any turn. Um, we want to be able to move forward, turn, and sway all at the same time. So what I'm going to do for you now, ladies, is give you a simple exercise to join all these three things together. Okay? And it's basically a simple box step, which uh, probably most of you know at this stage, a basic box step. We are going to start off, ladies, by moving back with our left foot and exercising our range of motion, the use of our back and our body, and we're going to just simply go back to the side and close. I'm just going to do this simply first, then I'm going to add in the ranges and the sways and everything. Then we're going to step forward on our right foot, forward right to the side and close. Then back left to the side and close. Then forward right to the side and close. So basically we're going to go around and do a box. We're going to exercise our range of motion. We're going to think about our sway plane and close and then our forward range of motion and the activity through our left side of our body. Forward one, two, three, back, two, three, exercise opposite, exercise backwards, 
exercise forwards, exercise backwards. So what I want you to try and do is get full flexibility and use of the body just through a basic back and forward step, through a basic box step. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to allow the body to be as flexible as possible. I'm trying to balance my sway with my turn and with my forward action. I'm trying to create space and flexibility through the bottom. And I'm trying to keep the joints as relaxed as possible. So let's try this again. So everybody, if you'd step back on your left foot to start with, we have back to the side, close, forward to the side, close, back to the side, forward, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, side, close. And that was our three planes of movement incorporating our ranges of motion.